ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58. I am Faith and today I'm just kind of chit-chatting with you guys. There's just a couple of topics I wanted to bring up so let's just get right to it. First and foremost, my wig sales are ongoing. So I, I never close my store unless I really need to do some maintenance to my website. My site is called stilllookinggood.bigcartel.com and I'll put that down in the description section. Again, it's always open unless I'm doing maintenance. And another thing that I want to make clear is my wigs are not always brand new, okay? As a wig reviewer, I am selling wigs that I have reviewed, which means that I have worn them at least once in a video review. If it is new, it's going to say new in front of the title so that you guys know. I don't want you guys thinking that you're buying brand new wigs for me every time you buy a wig for me. That is not the case. So what I wanted to do was to share with you guys a couple of the things that I'm selling. I am selling this butter lace wig, which is called Beach Wave 20. I have her in T1B Golden Blonde, and I'm going to take her out just so you can see. But again, watch my videos because you can see what I am selling. So this one, again, the lace has been cut, but it's only been worn once in the video review. And with this particular wig, I also did trim it a little. And I normally tell you guys in the description for each of these wigs if I've altered it in some way. And most of the time, if I have altered it, I put it in the clearance section. So keep that in mind. I am also selling this Galore wig. This is an Outre Perfect hairline wig, and I have Galore in the color DRST2 Chocolate Caramel. Again, look at the video so that you can see the unit. This unit was very, very pretty in my opinion. Very pretty wig, um, but I just didn't have any need for it, and so I'm selling it. So again, and another thing is, right now, all of my wigs are 20% off on my website, and no shipping. So that's a good deal, because most of the time, they're below retail, unless they're brand new, and I'm not charging shipping. So yeah. I also have human hair wigs. This is a wig from My Quality Hair, which I never wore. This wig still has the lace on it. It also comes with an adjustable strap here that's kind of stuck in the air right now. Adjustable strap here, and it's got some clips in the box as well. Lace is still on it. This is a Yaki Straight wig. I believe it's a four by four. I think I'm selling it for a hundred bucks, and if not, um, I apologize for giving you that price, but whatever it is on the website is 20% off, like all the other wigs. I'm also selling things like converter caps. I'm selling this TZ Desert in a number two converter cap. Um, I am also selling um, a Yaki. This is a Yaki, I mean not braid, this is a Yaki ponytail with a drawstring on it that Eon Hair sent to me. I never wore it. I have, as you saw in the video in the beginning, two tubs full of these wigs. So you guys have got to help me get rid of these, okay? So that's why I'm giving you 20% off. Now, the wig that I am currently wearing, I recently purchased with my own money. This is Outre Toriana, and I have her in the color Cinnamon Mocha. I absolutely love this wig. This is the, the right length for me. I had another Outre wig that was this color, and it was Kamaya. A lot of people went crazy about Kamaya, but Kamaya was too long for me. I mean, honestly, she was just too long. But this one, Toriana, in this color is similar to me to Kamaya in terms of the way she falls in the front. Love, love, love this wig, and that's why I purchased her, so she is not on sale. But I would go buy her if I could find her if I were you guys. Okay, the other thing that I want to tell you besides my wig sale, my ongoing wig sale, is that um, I have made some changes to my channel. I know you guys have probably noticed that my videos are shorter, and I'm sorry for smacking. There's somebody that follows me that hates the fact that my lips smack. I'm sorry, it's a bad habit. Anyway, um, I made some ch changes to my channel. I am actually showing shorter videos, and I'm also trying to give you guys more of a better look on the outside and the inside of the wig by doing my little turntable thing. And I'm just trying to get to the point without like doing a lot of humming and hawing and, and wasting your time. So that's a test that I'm doing right now to have some shorter videos. This one obviously is not going to be short because it's a premiere. But that's kind of what I'm trying to do because I want to see what you guys are watching, what you're not watching, how long you're watching, what you're interested in and not interested in. 
Yeah, so that's why I'm doing that. So it's basically a test that I'm trying out for the next couple of months just to see how well that goes. If you guys prefer me to just talk my head off while I'm doing big reviews and let me know that too. But that's basically what I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm offering shorter ones, more succinct videos, getting to the point videos for those of you who like that. Last thing I wanted to ask you guys about is my Allure Beauty unboxing. Some of you watch this, but a lot of you do not. And I want to know if this, in addition to skincare, is something that you care about or don't care about. Because I don't want to put things on my channel that you don't care about. This Allure Beauty unboxing box that I got this week is for September. These are the products that I got. Nice sizes. Oops, sorry. Nice sizes. And again, like I always tell you guys, $23 for this box is really worth it to me because the brands are brands that I see in Ulta and in Sephora that are a lot more expensive. And that's why I show you this because I want to help you to get skincare that you like, that's nice, that's also affordable. And as I said, the Allure Beauty Box also allows you to purchase ones that you want in a regular size. If they don't come in a regular size, for up to 80% off, okay? So yeah, so that's kind of why I share these products with you guys. So, and if you want the link to the beauty box and the products that I got today, I will put that down in the description section. Last thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is I have a couple of favorite things that I picked up recently that I wanted to share with you. I have been in the market for a lip liner that's dark brown and I really haven't found anything that I like until last week. I went to Sephora because I was looking for some foundation. I'm going to talk to you about that in a minute. But I was looking for some foundation and I thought, you know what? I need to see if they have a really good lip liner. So Huda Beauty, and I never really purchased anything from them before, but Huda Beauty had this lip liner. I thought, whatever, I'll just get it. Didn't try it or anything in advance. This one is called Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 and I have her in rich brown. Believe me when I say I absolutely love this. It goes on so smoothly. It almost goes on like a gel. And it's very pigmented as you can see. It's on there. I love this thing. And I have never purchased anything from Huda Beauty. But I bet you I'm going to be doing it from now on. So again, this one is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Lip Liner 2.0 Rich Brown. Gotta have it. Love it. I also bought a couple more lipsticks like I need more lipstick. I was interested in getting um, something from the new collection from Juvia's, which is the, I think it's called um, Nubian Earth Collection. And this clay colored lipstick just turned me completely on. And of course, I like the little designs that they stamped into the lipstick. Uh, it's really cute. Of course, it's not going to last once I start using it a lot. But I love this clay color and I love the design and I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. That's the lip color that I have on now is this clay. Really pretty brown and beige container too. I'm a sucker for brown and beige and gold. And then I also got this lip gloss to go on top of it. This one is Oasis. And this is again from that um, Nubian Earth collection. Really love this lip gloss, love the color because it's just a hint of color and on top of this lipstick, it just looks great. So they had another lip gloss that I want to kind of warn you guys about. Uh, Juvia's Place had this really, really pigmented lip gloss and I put a sample of it on my hand just because I wanted to see what it looked like and man, it was really dark and pigmented. And I thought, okay, this is cool for people who really want something like that. I didn't have a tissue to take it off my hand. The woman at the counter didn't have any tissues, so I thought, what the heck, after I buy my stuff, I'll just walk out to the car and take care of it. Why'd I do that? Ended up getting it on my purse, my new coach leather bag that I got in Asheville with Wheezy and Brittany. Made me so mad. Then when I tried to get it off my hand, it just, I mean, once I wiped it off, you could still see the color. And I'm having to like use my hand sanitizer and everything to get that thing off. That lip gloss is so pigmented, it's ridiculous. And so I'm just telling you guys, if you're interested in something that's that pigmented, I'll put the information down in the description section because I'm not buying that sucker. But it was so pigmented, like I said, I couldn't get it off my hand. Had a hard time getting it off my purse. I had to come home and get some of my Coach Leather Cleaner to get it off and it still didn't get it off really well. So, whew, yeah, that was an experience. <clears throat> so yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys about that too because that was something that happened to me this weekend that kind of bothered me. 
Yeah, and you guys also know that I cut my hair off. I mean, basically buzz cut it off. And if you saw my IG, if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you probably didn't see it. But I went back to my hair salon because you guys know I had dyed my hair. I let her dye it blonde and then it was too light, so I re-dyed it. And it made my hair so hard and brittle that I had to go back and just have her shave my head, basically what she did. So she cut it all off. So you can see my gray and dark brown now on my real hair. But I mean, it doesn't look bad, I like it. And if you haven't been to my IG, you need to get my IG so you can see the video because I'm not putting it up here. <laughs> so I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, but yeah, oh, and the wig that I'm wearing, I think I told you, yes, Toriana, yeah. I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. Sometimes you guys ask me about the makeup I wear and I don't really have uh, what you might call um, a, a loyalty to any particular brand when it comes to face makeup. I did like the Maybelline Fit Me 240 and I wear that every day. I also wear the, wear the NYX um, and I think the color is called Caramel. Is it Caramel? I think it's Caramel that I wear, in, no, Golden, it's called Golden. I wear that color, golden in NYX. Um, it's, I think it's the don't stop, can't stop, won't stop or something like that. That I wear every day. The color that I have on now is a combination of Juvia's Place Bogota and Fenty 290. But while I was at Sephora, I actually bought another Fenty, which is 315, which is a much closer color for my skin. So that's what I'm currently wearing. For my eyeshadow, the eyeshadow that I have on now is the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia at Beverly Hills. I got that with a free mascara. And so yeah, they gave me a free mascara with that. So I got that and I'm wearing that right now. And as far as lashes go, you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with lashes. So I have my own on. I have used the Essence Primer. So I put this Essence Primer on my lashes first. Then I put the lashes on so that I can make my lashes uh, show up a little bit more because I really don't like to wear false lashes if I can avoid it. At, <clears throat> excuse me. At my age, I think it's just a bit much sometimes. Sometimes I look fine in them. Other times, nah. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I don't know what's going on with my throat. I wanted to tell you guys also about my headbands. I am... In the process of working on my, my fall headbands, I've cut them all out already. I just haven't sewn them up and I've taken a day off that I'm gonna do that to sew those headbands up. So they'll be coming pretty soon. And I'm probably going to move my wigs to my Shopify site where my headbands are because I'm having to pay Big Cartel and Shopify and it doesn't really make sense. So once you guys buy up all my wigs off of Big Cartel, hint, hint, <laughs> Then I'm going to start selling the remainder of my wigs as I get them from Outre and Wig Types and whoever I get them from. I'll be selling those along with my headbands on my Shopify site. I think that's it. But you guys have to help me get rid of these two big tubs of, of wigs and, and ponytails and stuff because my husband, <coughs> excuse me, I mean, I don't have like a basement full like some people. <laughs> I don't have a basement full. But these two tubs are enough for my husband to be concerned. So I really need to get rid of these. So if you guys could help me do that, that would be awesome sauce. If you guys want me to do a review of this Toriana wig, I can do that, but she was so easy to lay down. I just really love this unit. I really do. And I'll probably get another one in another color, but this mocha, this cinnamon mocha is just awesome. I really do love this. It's beautiful. And now shout out to Brittany, the Hearts and Cake 90, because she was the one who I saw in this wig and I thought it was much shorter on her because like she always tells you, she has a long neck and she's six foot, six feet tall. I'm only 5'8 and my neck is not long. So this wig is longer on me than you would see it on her. So if you watch a review, I think hers comes to her shoulders. This one comes past my shoulders. But I really do love this wig. It's not too long. And that's what I like about it because this wig reminds me of Kamaya. Because if you watched my video last year, I did Kamaya in this color. And she looks similar to this in terms of the swoops, but she was longer. And that's why I really like Toriana because Toriana is, to me, a short version of Kamaya. And I really do love this wig. So, okay, ladies, <clears throat> I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else that I need to tell you right now. Um, I will be having an announcement for you in the coming months. Big announcement for you in the coming months. So stay tuned for that. I'm not going to tell you about it now, but it's uh, something that I'm going to be doing and something that I'm not gonna be doing. <laughs> so yeah, so I'll be letting you guys know. 
So uh, again, thank you so much for watching you guys. Your support has been really uh, important to me and phenomenal and I really appreciate that. If you want to know again about any of these products, I'll make sure I put them down in the bottom. Please go to my website, Big Cartel, and purchase my wigs. Again, they're 20% off and the sale is ongoing. I think that's it. Now I got to go eat my lunch. <laughs> so thank you again. As I always say, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good. And of course, so are you. See you next time.